We're talking cold weather and we have a snow map for you for this weekend system. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. Let's look at the wind chills though. They have been plenty cold since Wednesday night when we have the combination of the cold and the wind really start to settle in. We go to Thursday afternoon. Wind chills rolling in the 20s for the most part. This evening we will get down into the teens and that will continue throughout the overnight. By the time we wake up on Friday morning, which will have plenty of sunshine, it will only be feeling like 11 degrees, even though the air temperature on the mainland will be 23. Now, let's talk about this weekend. Here are the pieces at play. We have a northern piece of moisture right here that will help bring some colder air as well. Southern piece of moisture here. And then we have one coming out of the Rocky Mountains. Now, they are all going to merge and create this area of precipitation on Friday. We have in the St. Louis area, winter storm watches in effect, and there will be a good amount of snow that goes through the Midwest. Then this pushes east here across the area, and then it will try to make a little bit of a turn to the north before heading out to sea. This is what we know. This is an updated look. Start time looks to be Saturday night between 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. ends on Sunday night. We will have those details for you tomorrow. We're going to watch for a lull early to midday on Sunday. And in fact, if you're north of the White Horse Pike, there is an outside shot that you are done after this point. We're talking about light to perhaps moderate snowfall across the area, and snow does stick to the roads as temperatures will be at or below freezing for a good duration of the event. Coming to you on Friday, we will hash out whether or not there is any wintry mix to be concerned with and we will also have again an end time for you this is our snow map we have one inch or less for a far northwest philly suburbs one to two for western cumberland that includes vineland and about the northwestern half of atlantic county otherwise two to four inches of snow between saturday night to sunday night it's important to know too this is coming over a long period of time two to four inches over about 24 hours or so means it's generally light snow and the roads can be salted and they already have been brined in some places so it can be treated effectively here across the area. We look at tonight, low temperatures in the mid-20s everywhere. It remains gusty, just a little less breezy than where we were during the day today. Wind chills in the teens. Bus stop forecast, even though we have plenty of sunshine, you're gonna want the jacket, the hats, and the gloves here for the drop off. Might be able to lose the gloves for when you're picking up the kids from school or if you're walking back from school, temperatures in the upper 30s. That's about average for this time of year. Gusts to around 30 miles an hour. It will continue to have, if you're along the ocean waters, continue to have a little bit of stiffer winds. We already had, uh, during the day on Thursday, power outages in parts of Cumberland County as a result of the wind. Not really anticipating that much here for our Friday. Mainland seven-day forecast. Again, we're talking about the snow here Saturday night into Sunday. Generally a light snow across the area. Cloudy on Monday. And as we go into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, temperatures on either side of seasonable here. Even when we go to the shore seven day, talking about the same story. Some mixing is possible for the shore. We will hash out those details as we go into the day on Friday. We have eight things you need to know about the storm on social media and on our website, Facebook and Instagram at JoeMarkWX, Twitter at AC Press Martucci, or the press of AC.com slash weather.